Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here with what's in my box. Excuse me, I haven't opened it yet. Um, and I'm just going to pull out some of the stuff. And what I need really is general, general tags and stuff like that. So let's see if there's anything in here that will lend itself to that sort of thing. Because I've got, I filled those journals, excuse me, I got the hiccups, with pockets. But I am short of tags and the like. So you wouldn't believe that, would you? So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. I am well. Let's see, this is just something, I don't know where this came from. It was in something, someone gave it to me. I think I've got a few of them. I don't know, maybe, I don't know where it came from. Okay, so I'm going to have a sip of coffee while I dwell on that. In reality, this is like a writing side for something. So um, I'm going to put something on the reverse side. So that's my cutter. I might need that. I'll put that on my very full garbage bin that needs to be emptied out. And oh, I've got scrapbooking paper over here. Put that somewhere. Oh my gosh. I'm in a kerfuffle, guys. Okay, we've got some planar papers over here, marble paper, and oh, a bit of worm paper there. And let's see. Oh, let's go to the journal papers. Here they are. I made, and it's quite a strong paper too. Um, I think I may glue something directly on the reverse side and do something quick. There's nothing wrong with something quick. So what direction is what's in my box going to take us today? We always get something slightly different, don't we? I feel like we're doing the same thing, but we're not. Because I know that everything comes out differently. Because you might pull out one paper and you do like I'm doing now, and then you use a little bit of it, and then you think, oh, I could do that with it, and then I could do this with it, and then you end up using all of it. And then, and then the things sort of get a certain look about them because you used one paper. I'm going to use my cutter and cut it out properly. Ish. So this is from my English Gardens kit. I do link, or I do get quite often questions, oh, what kit is that from? I do link them more, pretty much everything that I can see. Um, I don't think I miss too many. I'll link them all in the description box when I use random kits like this. So, um... Oh, I didn't cut that very well. So yes, check it out in the description box and you will see what kit it was. Oh, and I didn't cut. Oh, I've got cutting issues. Now, what I want to do, actually, before I do any cutting, I'm going to do a wrap around. So just tear that off. And that's going to wrap around there. Oh, it covers the writing. Oh, okay, that's okay. I'll just not fold it right to the edge. There we go. How about that? I extended it. So now I can cut better. I'll glue that down in a minute. That off. Then this needs to come off. And that's okay. Put that over there. Put some dry. Oh, they're still a bit sticky. I'll just fold them over. I've been gluing them on them multiple times. Put my glue on here, glue that down. I'll keep that out because we can finish that paper off. That's super, I love that. And I like that side, but we're going to add something to it. Okay, why don't I move these over here? Oopsie, I don't want to do a pocket today. I'm not doing pockets. Because usually I'm out of pockets. This time I'm out of journal cards and tags. Well, I'm not out of them, but I don't have many. I don't have, certainly am not anywhere near putting them in a journal and you know, having enough to do a journal. So I'm actually going to add 
Oh, I think that bird would be great on there. Let's just not even go to visit the other birds. This one, the only thing about this bird, it has an um, boring feet to cut out, that's all. They're a bit of a bore and a chore. <laughs> So I won't be able to do a very long video today because it's time to almost go and prepare lunch. Although it's not going to be like a long, laborious lunch to prepare, I still need to give myself about half an hour before they get here to um, do it. Oh my word. Let's do this bit here first before we go any further. I'll have to take this bit off. Take off anything. I always say that. Anything that gets in your way, take it off. My scissors always slip down my fingers. And that's why I'm, I get feel quite awkward sometimes when I'm cutting. So now that I remove that attached to the tail it's a little bit easier to get in here oops okay good I don't bother with that bit in there Okay, so I'm not going to use that sticky bit because my bird will rip apart. Hopefully that's sort of dry from my last gluing session. So pretty. Did that kit quite a few years ago, but I really still love it. I think I feel like I might like. Oh, yes, I might like one of Steffi's. I haven't used those for a while. Um, lovely faux stamps on there as well, because we have that little space there rather than a label. Could do a label, but I never use my real stamps. I should I should use them, but I like the faux stamps. Um, and I'm going to use this size. that one let's use that one now where are my crunchy scissors here they are I call them the crunchy scissors because they make the crunchy noise I get my hand my fingers just slide slide down oops I've chopped off the edge there doesn't matter they are the worst scissors they even hurt like they hurt your hands they're just not fun scissors to use but they do give you a little I mean that's terrible but they do give you a bit of a bit of an effect I wish I wouldn't glue myself as well because that's what I do and then I don't like my squared off corners so I'm going to snip them off I tend not to use the round, I've got a corner rounder, but I tend not to use it. I think it reminds me of Project Life, <laughs> and so it makes me not want to use it. I really like that. I'm going to leave that. Cute journal card. Okay, so we've got one of these. These are challenging. Um, let's just, I'm just going to put away anything that's pocketful, because we don't want to do pockets. No pockets. You're probably telling me, get on with it, girly. Why are you sitting there faffing about with pockets that is a bag we don't want a bag we want tag like things they're going to be more like they're not really taggy things they're a bit long that's pockets pockets that's folded over to become a pocket oh they're cool i'll do those okay another sip of coffee there won't be many sips of coffee because it's just a macchiato now I'm going to put some of this on here, I think. 
I use that one or do I have a more ripped up piece? Maybe I'll use this piece. It's a bit dirty. No, it's not tall enough. So I might have... Oh, well, I'll use the other piece then because I've got this one, but that one's in better state. So maybe I'll use this one. And I don't want all of it. That can go in a pocket or something. And I'm going to put it there and I'm going to do a wrap around because I don't want to cut off the extra bit. Now, if I feel like I want to do more, I may have to come back after lunch. I'm going to wrap the symbol around. Blue everywhere. Oh, struggle is real, isn't it? Now, bone folder, where have you gone? Right here, in front of my face. Now, I don't remember what I did on these when I when we did them in the challenge. I think we did them in the challenge. That's an envelope. We don't want that. Okay. Um... What do I have going on here? Kind of like that. Let's tear this off. A funny cutting shape, funny cut shape, and tear it off there, and tear it off there, and just see if I might like that. Just wrap it around. Let's see, and then I could have or a bird or a flower. We shall see. Probably something biggish. I think I put one of those on, didn't I? The last time. I quite like this one. It's not that big, but it's quite nice. Let's try that. I am gonna glue I'm gonna lock down the, the butterfly because I like that. Yes, I do. Yep, I'll, end, I'll probably end up using all of that paper now that I say that I won't, but that's all I've got left, that little piece over there. Actually, that is a super nice kit, and I have not printed that one out for a while. I need to do that. Yes, I do like that. Because sometimes these um, time cards and whatever they are, uh, or guest checks and things, they're quite can be quite challenging to think what to do on them because there's all I guess you know we sort of like the all of this so I think if you sort of work on it a little bit to one side and it's all sort of peekabooing out you get the best of both worlds working for me. And then I have some sort of label. I'm thinking maybe these are my labels. I don't want one of those. 
they're a bit decorative we've got a lot going on here i think i prefer to have a tracy label if there's a big big enough one in a font that i like no that one's a bit um soft i think so let me just see here otherwise i could try a tina from shabby dabby doodah label don't mind that one too much typing i think none of those it's all typing you see i've used them all Why is my book not wanting to open today? It normally opens. I think, oh, the pages are stuck. That's why. Because they're sticky pockets. Sticky pockets. Oh, I know. What about something? Yes, but not that colour. I do a wrap around. That's it. But not red. I don't want red. I don't know why, but I don't want red. Probably not so much blue because i got blue there. So then what? Oh, greeny sort of colour. No, I know. Now I wanted the bold, a bold type. No. Here we go. This will be, this might be better. I say might. Let's cut it out and see. So these ones, obviously, they have quite a bit, few elements to them. They do take a little bit longer to create but are we in a hurry mm, well i am i've got to go and cook lunch but no not normally right i didn't audition it yet but i will yes it's going to be that one it has to be the other colors I've used them all just going to have it there slightly up so Tina shabby dabby doo that's where that comes from and then I'm going to punch the top so all I do is a lot of eyeball um, the distance start in the center Someone asked me, did I answer them? I don't know. You know, I, I lose track. St sort of centre it and then, yeah, start it in the centre. And then you've got to line it up. You have to work that out yourselves because each one is different. And there we go. That is a gorgeous journal card. Love that. Okay, good. Next. What's next? I don't know what time it is. Let me see how long I've been here for. 18 minutes, so it's 1.30. They get home at quarter past two, so I've still got 15 minutes. That's going to be good. And I just got glue all over me. Okay, so I have some plain collage. Let's do this plain collage page. And let's collage on the other side. I should cut that. Why did I cut? got a big mess over there this is sticky not here not so sticky there I might only get three things done today in my half hour this will take a little while to do I need to find some more papers. I do have my, I've got, actually, I've got all my scraps over there. So we'll do those. So what I'm doing is creating just a, a decorative background, really. And I don't want to use pieces that are too small because otherwise you'll be there forever. Gluing, gluing, gluing. And I'm going to put this one. I don't want to cover the butterfly. Oh, I'll put it there. I'll lower it down and just trim off. Or fold over the excess although it will be upside down on the other side but the care factor is not very high now any normal person would have thrown this piece of paper out but I can't that 
that is a very sticky piece of paper. Let's just put it to about there. Actually, if I put it up a little bit higher, then I shouldn't get too much of the writing wrapped around to the other side. That's it. That's all right. There we go. Let's just go over it here. And wet one, where have you gone? And let's see what other little scrappy bits I have. I need something... but I don't. What about some of this crunchy paper? Maybe a piece of that. I might put that there. Let's put that there. Overlap it. Okay. New piece of gluing paper we need. These are quite fun because then we'll flip it over. And we will cut it out without looking. And then they have to be finished off, of course. So hopefully I'll get them done in the 15 minutes that I had left. Okay. And because it's sort of messy sort of paper, I'll just flatten it out with my bone folder. do we have here? I don't want something plain. I need something a bit more decorative now. My papers over here are really in a mess. That's a strip. That could go down there. Oh, I have that. I don't want too much decoration though. I have a strip of embroidery. If I put that there, yes. Don't forget it's going to be cut out. So this does not have to go with that. Okay. Get rid of all of that. We'll look in there in a minute. And I just need to... Well, actually, I don't even need to check that because I'll probably end up covering it. And I'm going to fold this over because it's very sticky. that there no could have that but it's not wide enough oh I should put that back in here I'm just shoving things really um, oh I've got oh that's a good one and that will go there there we go we did it we did it we did it we did it Now you should really wait till it dries because it's probably going to rip, but it is what it is. And I'm going to do, I don't even know how big it is, let's just get a vague idea 
3.09, so about three inches wide my tags can be. So I've decided to do three tags. Okay, that was hard work. Cool, very nice. See that, how cool they look? Now we can get the little taggy thing. I think I'll use this nice deep one. And I think I learned that from Gail. Very nice tags. You don't even have to embellish them if you don't want to. You could leave them for someone else to embellish. Okay, and then snip the corners. Okay, so I think I really like that one. All I'm going to do on that one is I'm going to do my 4 punch and do like it looks, you know, it looks a bit like a swing tag. That's that. I love that tag. That's just staying as it is. I'm going to punch them all the same. And then these two, I'm going to see if I want to add something to them. I have no idea what time it is, but it doesn't matter. I have some things here pulled out. I don't want any of those. Let's see what's over here. I've got lots of things that I haven't put away. That's horizontal. Oh, that could be really... Oh, that's pretty, that bit there. I'm going to glue that on and wrap that around. Or will I do it that side? No, I like the purple side. Okay, I'm going to glue that on and wrap it around. I've been dying to use this. I absolutely love it. Oh, mush. Okay. Push so hard turns into mush. Okay. Let's get cracking. I'm just going to actually, yeah, no, that flower is going to be covered. It's okay. It's just a digital. You can print it out again and that's going to go around the back. So you'd have to write around it, but I like that. That's what I wanted to do. So that's what I did. And that one is done. And then this one, that would be pretty, that would be pretty. So you can rip these things up. You don't have to use them as they were intended. There's no rules. That one's all right. Yeah, that's quite pretty. I just like rather than using a, um, a bird or a flower, which I use quite a lot, I'm just thinking these are, I could tear that, no. I could do many things, couldn't I? Not that. These are good to tear as well, like that. Could be really cute on there. Let's just tear that off and let's see. And you might be thinking, why? Well, because I can. I might leave that. I think I'm gonna put that on there. Yep. I like it with the writing. That's what it is. Oh my gosh, that paper is so sticky. I think in my next what's in my box, I will, not my next, I don't know when, but I will be doing some more tags, definitely. Definitely. 
love that. There we go. So that is my what's in my box for today. I've made it. I've got to go and make lunch now. But uh, we did the collage page and got three totally different looking tags. Actually, that was over there. See, that's where that joined. Um, but really, I love that. And then I did this one, which I really like. And this one here. So not too much, but all very pretty. So have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye.